For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. NVIDIA, the leading global producer of high-end data center graphics processing units, plays a critical role in powering machine learning and artificial intelligence tasks. Meanwhile, Supermicro Computer, often referred to as Supermicro, has rapidly grown into a key player by providing dedicated servers tailored for artificial intelligence applications. These servers heavily rely on NVIDIA's cutting-edge graphics processing units to deliver top-notch performance. Over the last two years, both NVIDIA and Supermicro have experienced remarkable stock price surges. NVIDIA's stock has increased by more than 640%, while Supermicro's stock has rallied at nearly 550%. This impressive growth was largely fueled by the explosive expansion of the generative artificial intelligence market. As more companies recognized the need to enhance their data centers with advanced artificial intelligence chips and servers, NVIDIA and Supermicro became the go-to choices for this crucial technology upgrade. NVIDIA's journey to becoming a dominant force in the artificial intelligence sector is noteworthy. Initially, the company generated a significant portion of its revenue from gaming GPUs designed for personal computers. However, the rapid expansion of the artificial intelligence market dramatically transformed NVIDIA's business model. Today, its data center unit has emerged as the largest and fastest growing segment of the company. In its most recent quarter, this division accounted for a staggering 87% of NVIDIA's total revenue, underscoring the profound shift in its business focus. This shift in emphasis towards artificial intelligence and data centers has driven NVIDIA's financial performance to new heights. In the fiscal year that concluded in January 2024, the company's revenue surged by 126%. In the first half of the fiscal year 2025, NVIDIA's revenue continued to soar, increasing by 171% year over year. Analysts are optimistic about the company's prospects, projecting that for the entire fiscal year, NVIDIA's revenue will rise by 123%, while its adjusted earnings per share are expected to grow by 137%. These growth figures are undeniably impressive, but NVIDIA is not without its challenges. Despite its dominance in the data center GPU market, where it held a commanding 98% share last year according to Tech Insights, the company faces formidable competition. Advanced micro devices, commonly known as AMD, has emerged as a significant rival, offering more cost-effective GPU solutions. This competition could potentially erode NVIDIA's market share, especially if AMD's GPUs continue to gain traction among cost-conscious buyers. In addition to the competitive landscape, NVIDIA is grappling with production challenges related to its latest Blackwell GPUs. These next-generation GPUs are crucial for maintaining NVIDIA's technological edge in the artificial intelligence market, but the company has struggled to scale up their production to meet the surging demand. To make matters more complicated, some of NVIDIA's top-tier artificial intelligence clients, such as Microsoft, OpenAI, and Alphabet's Google, are developing their own proprietary artificial intelligence accelerator chips. If these companies succeed in producing effective in-house solutions, it could reduce their reliance on NVIDIA's GPUs, further intensifying the competition. Another issue on the horizon for NVIDIA is the gradual slowdown in its data center chip sales. While the company's sales growth has been remarkable, there are signs of deceleration. In the second quarter of fiscal year 2025, NVIDIA reported a 16% sequential increase in sales. Although this figure remains robust, it represents a slowdown compared to the 23% growth in the first quarter and the 27% growth in the fourth quarter of fiscal year 2024. Additionally, NVIDIA's yield issues with its Blackwell GPUs contributed to a decline in its gross margin during the second quarter, raising concerns about the company's ability to maintain its profitability in the face of production challenges. Looking ahead, analysts expect NVIDIA's revenue and adjusted earnings per share to continue growing, albeit at a more modest pace. For fiscal year 2026, revenue is projected to increase by 41%, and adjusted earnings per share are expected to follow a similar trajectory. While these growth rates remain impressive, there is some uncertainty surrounding NVIDIA's valuation. Currently, the stock trades at 44 times forward earnings, which is relatively high. If companies begin to scrutinize their artificial intelligence-related spending more closely, NVIDIA's premium valuation could come under pressure, potentially leading to a correction in its stock price. On the other hand, Supermicro, while a smaller player 
player in the server market has managed to carve out a distinct niche by specializing in high-performance liquid-cooled servers. These servers are particularly well suited for demanding artificial intelligence workloads, making Supermicro an ideal partner for NVIDIA. The close collaboration between the two companies has enabled Supermicro to maintain a steady supply of NVIDIA's GPUs for its high-end artificial intelligence servers, further strengthening its position in the market. Supermicro's financial performance over the past few years has been nothing short of remarkable. In fiscal year 2023, which ended in June, the company's revenue grew by 37%. The growth accelerated in fiscal year 2024, with revenue soaring by 110%. This surge was primarily driven by the strong demand for artificial intelligence servers, which now account for over half of Supermicro's total revenue. The company's success in this area has helped offset slower sales of traditional servers, positioning it as a rising star in the server market. Looking to the future, Bank of America has expressed confidence in Supermicro's ability to expand its share of the artificial intelligence server market. The bank predicts that Supermicro's market share will increase from 10% to 17% over the next three years, solidifying its position as a key player in the industry. This growth potential makes Supermicro an attractive prospect for investors seeking exposure to the booming artificial intelligence market. However, Supermicro is not without its challenges. In the fourth quarter of fiscal year 2024, the company's gross margin shrank both sequentially and year over year. Several factors contributed to this decline, including supply chain disruptions, increased spending on new liquid cooling technologies, and intensified pricing pressure from competitors such as Dell Technologies and Hewlett Packard Enterprise. These challenges highlight the competitive nature of the artificial intelligence server market and underscore the importance of innovation and cost management for Supermicro's continued success. Supermicro's troubles didn't end there. On August 27th, Hindenburg Research, a well-known short seller, leveled serious accusations against the company. Hindenburg claimed that Supermicro had artificially inflated its revenues by stuffing its sales channels with incomplete orders of defective products. Additionally, the short seller alleged that Supermicro had not fully resolved the accounting issues that previously led to its stock being delisted from the Nasdaq in 2018. These allegations cast a shadow over Supermicro's reputation and raised concerns about the accuracy of its financial reporting. In response to these allegations, Supermicro took a cautious approach. On August 28th, the company announced that it would postpone its 10K filing for fiscal year 2024, citing the need for additional time to assess its internal controls over financial reporting. While this move may have been necessary to ensure the accuracy of its financial statements, it also raised red flags for investors who are now left wondering whether the company has more issues to address. Despite these challenges, analysts remain optimistic about Supermicro's growth prospects. They expect the company's revenue and earnings to rise by 90% and 58% respectively in fiscal year 2025 as it ramps up shipments of artificial intelligence servers. For fiscal year 2026, revenue is forecasted to grow by 19%, with earnings expected to increase by 30%. These growth rates are impressive, especially for a company trading at just 13 times forward earnings. However, the recent controversies surrounding Supermicro could dampen investor enthusiasm and compress its valuation for the foreseeable future. When comparing NVIDIA and Supermicro, it's clear that NVIDIA remains the linchpin of the artificial intelligence market. The company's dominant position grants it significant pricing power and a competitive advantage over its rivals. NVIDIA's ability to consistently deliver innovative products and maintain strong relationships with major artificial intelligence clients positions it as a long-term winner in the industry. While the company faces challenges such as competition from advanced micro devices and production issues with its Blackwell GPUs, its track record of success and continued growth make it a compelling investment opportunity. In contrast, Supermicro, while a promising player in the artificial intelligence server market, faces more significant hurdles. The company's smaller size relative to giants like Dell Technologies and Hewlett Packard Enterprise puts it at a disadvantage, particularly in terms of pricing power and market reach. Additionally, the recent allegations from Hindenburg Research and the delayed 10K filing raise concerns about the company's financial stability and transparency. These issues make Supermicro a riskier investment than NVIDIA. While Supermicro's growth potential in the artificial intelligence server market cannot be ignored, the combination of shrinking gross margins, allegations of revenue inflation, and financial reporting delays raises too many red flags for cautious investors. In the end, NVIDIA and Supermicro Computer have both been standout performers in the artificial intelligence market, but they face different challenges and opportunities. NVIDIA has transitioned from a focus on gaming GPUs to becoming a dominant force in data center GPUs, driving substantial 
revenue growth. However, competition from advanced micro devices and production issues with its latest GPU's present challenges. Supermicro, while a promising player in the artificial intelligence server market, is grappling with supply chain issues, increased competition, and serious allegations of revenue inflation. Ultimately, Nvidia remains the safer and more stable investment in the artificial intelligence space, while Supermicro's recent controversies make it a riskier choice. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.